Good morning. It's been a while, probably a week to 10 days since I've made a video. I've been really busy working on my van. Um, the roof is really, really rusty, so I've been crawling up on it to sand it down and paint it with some black rust retardant stuff. Uh, apparently, the rust that is left on there that I can't quite get all off, it will bind to the rust that is left to make a waterproof barrier. Over that, I will paint some sort of rubberized barrier on it. <clears throat> the main thing I want to share this morning is my hat. I always thought of my dad as this great big man, but his hat fits me. This is his hat from when he was in World War II and in England in the Air Force. I'm very proud of his service. I grew up as an Air Force brat. The main reason for this is to thank everybody that has sent me items to help with my new adventure. It is really making a difference between just survival and an easier survival, one that I might be able to get some enjoyment out of. If you've looked on my Amazon wish list, it is also what I shop from. And the larger costing items I am buying with my Social Security. I will do a separate video later after I have all my items gathered up. Things like uh, electric ice maker that will work off my electrical solar power thing I'm building. And a refrigerator freezer that I will use as a freezer. But this is to show you what people have sent to me. About half the people want me to say their names, half do not. Um, for right now, I'm going to show you the items. Then, at the end of it, I will just read a list of first names. I'm sure that you will know if you've sent these items to me. This first one, I got two of these, and they're headlights that you wear. Now, these will not be worn on me. These will be put on my dogs when we're out and about at night. I got this wonderful 5.3 gallon water storage cube and I am going to go ahead and order a few more for myself as this makes a really easy way to carry water and it does have the spigot on the other side. So this is what I'll sh carry my drinking water and water for my dogs in. One of the things I worry about being out in the wilderness is how to start a fire. I got these wonderful waterproof matches so even in the most humid and rainy weather I will be able to strike a match. I also got a LC Fun electronic lighter. This I will use to start fires with. Use little tiny twigs and stuff and this makes an electronic spark that will help start a fire. This is really important.
Water is very important and I will be carrying potable water with me. However, there may come a time that the only water I have might be from a stream, which I would boil, but then I also have two of these to make sure I have good water. You'll never guess what this is, even if I let you take time to do it. This was one of the first gifts I received, and it's very exciting because I drink a lot of tea, and I drink a lot of coffee. But this is also good for if I'm going to use my little frying pan, as it is a a wood-burning stove, a little one, or you can use those alcohol burners like you use in a buffet to keep everything. I am going to say that this is from Jennifer as her card is in with it. Jennifer Lee Janey. I hope I'm pronouncing that last name right. Your encouragement and support in this that I am having to go through, you wouldn't believe how important it is to me. So you can see it's about as tall as my head and you burn a fire in here and it came with this and this I am really excited about this and I can tell you that it will be used every day, Jennifer, every day. I will have hot tea in the afternoons in it. I will be able to cook small, like fix my bacon and eggs for in the morning, or fix myself some soup or oatmeal. It, and it can use the littlest, tiniest pieces of branches and wood that I can just pick up. It's, it's just a marvelous gift. This one I'm really excited about. I am having to leave a few weeks after what I would planned just because of the debts incurred. Um, I had to wait to buy my new tires. Uh, Social Security just doesn't go like as far as it used to. So I'm going to be leaving and starting my first adventure, <coughs> oh excuse me, my first adventure around here in the cold. I got these wonderful wool socks, boot tight. Excuse me, I had to cough. And these are longer that will go up my leg. And you know, if my feet are warm, it seems easier to keep the rest of my body warm. Thank you so much for these. Here, I opened up the lighter so that you could see what it is. <clears throat> see, that sends a little electronic spark. And the battery you plug it into a USB port and it charges it right back up. 
I feel confident between my waterproof matches and this waterproof lighter is that I will be able to stay warm. Now this is part of what I spent my social security on. I've been looking at knives, trying to figure out exactly what it was I needed. I do have some very good kitchen type knives that I will be carrying with me to cook with. But I ordered this for myself. This is a Smith & Wesson survival knife. It said the blade was six inches, but I think it's more like five and a half, maybe. But it's Smith & Wesson carbon steel. This will be a good personal protection knife, as well as being utilized to shave wood, to start fires with, and that kind of stuff. And I will be able to carry it on me or keep it next to me in bed. On the sheath, is the honing stone so I can keep it sharp. I remember my dad sitting at the evening at my kitchen table sharpening my mother's knives for her. I have some more things coming on Amazon that I have ordered the, um, like a, a heating stove an ice maker. I'll show you the refrigerator freezer I got. Um, my electric panels. I'm waiting for a 100 watt solar panel right now and another generator battery. Um, thank you all so very much. This has been a very difficult time in my life having to face not having my home anymore. But I am getting more excited about the adventure I'm getting ready to go on. And I want to thank you all very, very much for your support of me. I can't express the gratitude that is in my heart for this. <clears throat> so let's see if I can give you some names because I appreciate every one of you. Some of them came without names in them. Sela Herman, I believe she gave me, and I hope I'm saying your name correctly, I'm pretty sure she gave me those wonderful socks. And those seem to be the only names I have. I thought I had a couple more sheets. I was also sent a hundred pounds of dry dog food for my dogs. One of my main worries, more than feeding me, is to make sure my dogs and my cat are fed. So thank you all very much. Peace be with you, and I can't wait to show the first adventure, hopefully this week. <laughs>